Hello, I'm Dave Diazzo and I serve on the San Diego Tijuana border along with my wife Dawn. We like to say the Baja, the border and beyond, thinking of multiplication and even working in other countries like Cuba, the Big Island. And we're so grateful and thankful for the interest that you have in our ministry. And a lot of what we do is encourage and strengthen pastors and church planners to see more churches planted and multiplied. Just last week I was reading in Acts 14 and verse 22 felt like really captured a lot of what we do. It says about Paul and Barnabas, they strengthened the lives of the believers and encouraged them to go deeper in their faith. And that's a lot of what Don and I seek to do as we work with the church planners. One of the couples that we're working with are in working in Tijuana in an area called Playas, which means beaches, because the community is near the beach. Their name is Davies and Luz. And Davies and Luz are a young couple. They have three children. They just moved into the area, that area called Playas in February. So if you can imagine, here they are, just starting their church, just moving into that community. And then all of a sudden the coronavirus hits, the lockdown hits, the restrictions hit, and they're limited in what they can do. And that was very discouraging to them. And they wondered, what do we do now? How do we meet people? And we try to encourage them and tell them to pray into this time, to, to pray in their neighborhood, to really draw closer to the Lord and as the Lord opened doors to meet people. And that encouraged them a lot and they have been able to stay positive and the Lord has opened some doors for them. They've be, been able to begin to meet some families and establish some friendships through playing soccer, through different things they've done in the community. And so that's been encouraging to see that. And our own testimony seeing us as my parents just passed away, seeing us remain faithful and staying with it has been a real testimony to them and encouraged them a lot in their own faith and encouraged them to continue. Another couple that we work with are named Petri and Yudi, and they're planning a church in Ensenada. And they've been working there for three years and they ha have started services. Petri and Yudi are both teachers. They both are involved in the school system. So they're bivocational and they're a very sharp young couple. And so they started doing services online, which I'm sure that many of you have had to do as well and experienced. And the encouraging thing about that is they've seen people, friends of theirs, that they've been reaching out to that have not yet gone to the church, that have started visiting online. And so they're listening to the gospel, they're listening to the message of Christ. ¿Cómo respondemos también nosotros ante la autoridad de Jesús? Ya hemos visto... And we're praying that, you know, they'll have more opportunities to continue to share with them. And even as things begin to open up, that this will open doors for them into the lives of these friends of theirs that they're seeing attend online. And so that's something you can be praying for with us. Another couple that we're working with, they work in Mexicali and their name is Federico and Blanca Munoz. And they just moved into the community that they're at about a year ago and they hadn't started services yet. So they were also kind of discouraged and we, we sought to encourage them and I told them to be creative and to pray and they came up with this idea of getting loudspeakers, two speakers and a microphone and playing music, worship music, and then having a short biblical reflection, a, a devotional uh, short sermon. And so they did that and they sent out um, or they told people if they wanted prayer, to send them a message. They gave them their phone numbers and said, if you would like prayer, send us a message. 
And when they first told me about this, I wasn't really sure that it was a good idea or that it would work. But surprisingly, their neighbors liked it and they started getting all these co positive comments. People did ask for prayer. Now, people are actually bringing their chairs when things are getting ready to start out of their homes and they sit outside if they have a terrace. They sit on the terrace listening and so the Lord is working in some very unusual and creative ways. And so we would ask you to continue to pray for these, these families as they reach out in these different cities in Tijuana, Ensenada, Mexicali, and even other places like Cuba. And we're just so grateful for your partnership with us. And we would ask you to pray for us and to pray for revival and God's mighty work and just that he would continue to encourage us so that we might encourage others thank you so much